Greetings and salutations. This is your boom for LLE Ascension, aka LLE Astrology, aka LLE Tarot. We back and here for Divine Masculine Situation. Um, let's just give you what I got here. So, quick, uh, quick rants. Um, number one. Cinco de Mayo deals, uh, you got to, um, I don't know, maybe noon this following morning. I think I'm going to put this out, I don't know, it's like 8.39 o'clock my time. Um, you got pretty much to like, let's see, I'm off tomorrow, so pretty much to midnight tomorrow. Just going to do an extended, um, Extended uh, <laughs> uh, time on, on, on when you can book those readings. I only have two people on Facebook and one person from YouTube and one person from Instagram. But I'm doing five at each slot, so I'm getting a lot of messages. I think I didn't got six messages of people saying, "Oh yeah, I know I'm not. I know I ran. I know I didn't make the slot and stuff like that." And I'm like, actually, ain't nobody. <laughs> You know what I mean? So, yeah, it's still out there. Like I said, I wouldn't lie about little figures and stuff like that. I'm only doing five on each platform. That's 15 tops, if it's even that. So, uh, yeah, it's still time. I'll let you know if it ain't time or not. But if you're interested in catching this deal, take advantage. You have a person that definitely took advantage of that life coaching at that 50. And it's smart to take advantage now. That's really what the deals be about, to take advantage of the life coaching. Because if you really... Check things out. You know that'll be the best route. But anyway, <clears throat> moving off that. Uh, for people who have booked, um, you will have your reading in the next uh, 12 to 24 hours for show for show. Um, anything else? That's about it. So, yeah, other than that, um, I still got about, I'm pretty sure, six to seven slots left if I'm doing my math correct. Six or seven, six or seven slots left. Um, I could take uh, three more on Facebook, four more on IG, three more on YouTube. However you want to reach it. Uh, twenty-five dollar readings for personal, twenty-five dollar readings, fifty bucks for life coaching. You already know how that goes. So no more talking. Let's get straight with the business. This is divine masculine situation. So got another rant. I'm gonna say what. Well, Car does. So I'm working this tool one and um, I'm getting trained for it. So the first day of training, uh chick was training me, she just happened to be a Satanist. I know, right? Coolest motherfucker ever. She's a Leo too. And I told you I don't fucking hate on another Leo. It's just something I don't do. It's against bro code or something. I don't know. I don't never hate on another Leo. But one thing I love about Leos is we have a way. Of really relaying messages in the best clear way. So I just asked her a straight up question. I'm like, what's it like? <laughs> how y'all get down? What y'all, how y'all do? You're like, please inform me. Cause I'm like, I knock y'all a lot. I'm like, I got my own channel. I'm a psychic. I'll be like, I'll be disrespect. I'll be disrespect shit out these karmics, out this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? And it's just the direction that I'm going with it. It's not like, I'm just going out here bashing motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying? I don't do head-to-head -head combos, me versus nobody. I don't do none of that shit. Y'all know how I get down over here. But with me, it's kind of the most, the ignorant. I ain't, you know, I ain't knocking church when I say it for those that's still in it. It's just that's the kind of ignorance that I like of being a, like, for my foundation being Christian. You know what I mean? It's the kind of Stevie Wonder, because, like, I don't need to know about none of that shit, because the way I'm operating, bruh, I'm only focused on one direction. That's cool beans. But in reality, that's all we should be fucking focused on on a divine level. That's all I'm preaching is, is ascension here. I'm not knocking shit. All I'm saying in my whole ideology is we should be focused above, not giving a fuck about below. And really, the eye opener she gave me was really how below works. Really, the ideology of common man. And I think that's one thing Satanists embrace. There's the human nature, animalistic side of people. But once again, it's a, I'm not knocking it, but it's a very worldly view, which I can respect now. Got more insight on y'all. 
So, I mean, I'm going to lay off y'all as far as spanking y'all every day and shit, but y'all need to be looking up. Because like I said, the way she put it was, it made sense. But what didn't make sense was the conflicts that was in it. It's like they believe in God, but they kind of mock God because he is void. Because I, t- <laughs> I told you, like, God is in us and we're the only people with God. Like, we're the only reason why God is on this planet is because he's in us. So, long story short, she definitely put me on game on a lot of shit. And it's always good to know. Seriously thinking about putting her on the channel just to really show y'all. Because like I said, I like her brain, bro. I like how she freaking puts things in perspective. I won't be promoting that shit. But at the same time, I will be, I don't know, making my shit kind of, you know, it's like, I guess churches when they put the rainbow sign up to allow anyone, like anyone is welcome type shit. It's kind of where I'm starting to get, okay? It's a process, all right? Let me, let, me, let me get back to this. It's a process, okay? So, um, I'm going to be meeting a lot of trannies around here, too. And I ain't knocking them either, but like I said, Salt Lake City is very diverse. I'm just going to pass a little Mormon temple over there and shit. Yeah, and I mean, very diverse. The city is very diverse. <laughs> and I was really going to kick out of who's here. And people's ideologies and you know like I say I be so far up I don't really be fucking with the world by me being in a whole new world like Aladdin and kind of being forced to kind of socialize and engage with the people around me I, I mean I, I, I see why I'm all ascension I see why I'm all ascension anyway restarts in seven minutes I don't care let's get with the business overall energy we got the Five of Pentacles here, the Dark Knight of the Soul that's being clarified by the Ten of Swords. So, it seems like it's going to be. A, I mean, this is a little isolation from basically going past the Four of Pentacles, which is holding on to something. Holding on too tight to something or not letting go of something. That's, that's what the Four of Pentacles is. And since we can't do that, we have to let things go. We can't, you know, be so fixed. On one particular thing, because the pinnacles is a person, place, or thing. We can't hold on to shit, and we gotta learn how to let things go. So it's like a process that they're having to let go of something, and they're actually in the process of letting go. Aside from that, we got the ten of swords. This is a death card. Like I say, this is in the last reading, the separation reading. This is a permanent ending. This is probably a death or something like that. This could be just a real change, and the energy that's what's going on. It's like you and y'all twin flame situation has been. Like, kind of, sort of in the same thing to where, boom, a change happens to where you're kind of forced to be in a whole new environment. You know what I'm saying? You're kind of forced to kind of adapt, to to evolve, kind of. And let me put some more smoke on that. It's overall energy. So, <sighs> King of Pentacle popped up in the last reading, too. So, like I said, it seems like it's going to be... A real isolated, uh, isolated time for the masculine because it seems like it's going to be a permanent ending to his karmic situation or maybe a, a, a death of a karmic. So I could take this a few ways. Masculines overall. It's like not only did your feminine seven of pinnacle to do what was best for her or him because he could be a she, she could be a he. You know how we rocking the love this nest quick milk shit. Makes me a little gassy, but who cares? But look. You moving around. You 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 on you you on your purpose. You on your plan. You on your shit biscuits, and that's what you need to be on. So by you being on your shit biscuits, feminine, you're a little void from your masculine's life. Aside from that, your divine masculine has a whole demo for those who have whole demos, and majority of them have whole demos, like whole demos. You feel me? These little demos are coming to an end, permanent end. Like I say, love is always having a way of having bad timing, like groove theory, like for real. Like love always has a way of having bad timing. So it would be when you finally move on in your karmic situation, feminine, that your masculine will, will end his. Or really when you ended your karmic situation, feminine, that your masculine ended his to to kind of monkey see monkey do to be with you or whatever. But the energy of this masculine going to with this overall energy is like I said, their karmic situation is coming to an end. 
permanent in. And bottom line, he's going to have to be ten toes down about taking care of himself. Just like a person that juggled two relationships, they finally got no relationship. It's like a person that has <laughs> got a girl. It's like you got... I don't know how the best way to say it without saying it like this. It's like you got some for show coochie and you try to get more coochie and you end up with no coochie. You got for show coochie, but you try to get some more coochie and end up with no coochie. Like this is a dude that ends up with no coochie. None. Knight of Swords. Fear. His biggest fear was to be out here with no coochie. We'll be out here with no one. Five of Pentacles. Overall energy. His biggest fear was to be out here with no one. To where he's only got himself to take care of. Or himself to focus on. Or himself to deal with. It's hard for him to deal with him. And he could be a she, she could be, you know, you're working. It's hard for him or her, your masculine, to deal with themselves. That's why they deal with other people. That's why they've been dealing with other people. They're finally forced to deal with themselves. Let's move on. Coming to the situation. Let's find masculine in his mystery madness, bro. Ace of Pentacles, something big has manifested. And whatever this thing that manifested is, is the key between you and your feminine getting back on one accord. Or you and your feminine kind of doing some shit. Told you, you void from your feminine. There ain't no three of Pentacles going on. Because in reality, I told you in the last reading, your feminine is here waiting on you to meet her halfway. So she can meet you halfway. But she's not going to invest time and energy into a person who doesn't even want to start investing time and energy into her. It's give and take. You put out what you put in. This is the masculine finally putting in that work to get here so the feminine can do what she needs to do. But it's a big but on that because it's a big ass manifestation. We've got the ace of pentacles here plus the three of pentacles here. This is the four of pentacles. This is holding on to some shit. Main reason why he's here in the first place. Let me put some more smoke on it. Three of cups, distractions, two threes, two. So, in a masculine's mystery madness role, they're ready to finally build with you, but they're still distracted. Point blank. Them in regards to themselves coming to the situation, they're getting ghosted by you. Queen of Cups, this is a psychic card, or this is the ghosting card, or this is like the X-Men card. Or this is just a psychic card. What's a psychic trusting in your own intuition? Masculine starting to finally trust in his own intuition, but it ain't really his intuition. It's your intuition. It's what you've been telling him, what you've been putting in him, what you've been telling him. It's like I tell my tone all the time. I say... What other person you know builds you up in the manner I build you up? I speak highly of you. I respect you. You mean the world to me. There's nothing. You can be, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You can never be bad with me. You are an asshole, but it's like you can never be, I can never, you know what I'm saying? I just, you here, bro. You know what I'm saying? You here. So the way I talk to you, the way I deal with you is on a higher level. Knight, queen high level of being. I really praise my twin. I don't worship him, but I praise him. Like, I really speak life into him as much as I can get. I send him a text like, man, you can do anything you put your mind to. You can do anything you want to do. You, you have it in you. You the shit. You can do whatever the fuck you want to do. Don't let nobody tell you you can't do whatever you want to do. Don't let nobody ever say you ain't good enough for not e equipped or capable to do whatever the fuck you want to do. Damn it. It's got to know what the fuck you want to do. And do it. So I know my fucking mouth and my voice is always in his fucking head. About the shit he need to be doing. Because his voice is always in my head on shit I need to be doing. Fucking twins. He ghosts me the same way I ghost him. Five of cups. <laughs> but the ghosting is a little bit much. Because like I say, you're not physically around. He's going through the Five of Cups and the motherfucking Five of Pentacles. So this is the Akon Mr. Lonely card for him. 
Not only is he getting ghosted by your words of wisdom, by your praise, by your love, by the conversation that, or the <laughs> communication that you give him that no one else gives him or her. He could be, she, she could be, you know, you are. It's finally making him want to move in the right direction. As far as heading to this whole divine shit. That's the way I can kind of say it. Kind of how I put it in my twin. One day my twin is going to get to the rude awakening that I am speaking life to him. That I do believe he can do whatever he wants to do. That he is my hero. Like the reason why he's my hero is going to understand that reason. And how he's going to understand that reason is being submerged around people who ain't speaking like me. Who ain't thinking like me. Who ain't on what I'm on. That's pretty much everybody. So when I'm not around, when I'm void, he's forced to deal with himself. And the whack ass motherfuckers that was around him the whole time. It's just you had him around you that you was beefing him up and he was like getting high off your sauce or stealing your sauce and putting it on him other people. You, he can only do that shit when you was around. When you're not around, he can't do none of that shit. She can't do none of that shit. She's a different person when you're not around and they have to be this different person where you're not around for them to kind of become the person that they always were your motherfucking reflection moving on masculine in regards to the feminine energy and his mystery matters well got the diva card Back to last reading, feminine, you was on your diva shit, he's following suit. Clarifying the eight of cups, you being on your pay the bell card, your pay the bell shit. We got the five of swords right here. Five of swords, that's like focusing on somebody. Like I said, it's like cocking a bow before you shoot. If you cocking a bow, you obviously aiming. You ain't gonna just cock a bow and then just let that shit go without aiming to shoot. You can kill somebody doing that shit. Of course, you're gonna focus and aim. Take time out. Not procrastinate, but you're just taking your sweet ass time mentally to shoot your shot. Looks like that a feminine. Let me put some more smoke on this. Six of Wands to shoot your shot at a feminine and pretty much get a good score. It's just like you playing darts and you really trying to focus on hitting like the bullseye, but you end up hitting like a 20. And it's just you stick to the 20. <laughs> like it's easier if you hit the 20 than the bullet. I right, I'm just gonna stick to the 20. And it's just like you get a good score at the end of the day, whether you hit the bullseye or not, you shot a good shot. And that's the mystery madness. Him coming to the situation or her coming to the situation in regards to the feminine, they moving around just like you. Why? Because they're trying to get where you're going. Home. Or a union. Let me put some more smoke on this. I like seeing that there. And that's twice. Four wands just popped out too. Nine of wands. We're going to do warrior. <sighs> Told you, union is just the fourth step in the actions process. Aside from Riri, it's like I like to call the seven of pentacles. It's like rearranging things, reorganizing things, re innovating things, rejuvenating things. Like redoing things, like just reviewing things, like re, 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 in the midst of like moving around to really get home or get to you or get on one accord with you or get wherever you're at, you feel me? We got the nine of wands clarifying that. This is just a nice step of the action process. And step four, it was just you finally coming home. But while you're getting home, you're going to go through the five of wands. That's outside conflict. By you going through outside conflict or having hate and shit, you're going to prove them haters wrong. You're going to succeed when people want you to fail. And once you get to the point where you're succeeding, when people want you to fail, you're going to get interconflicted. Why the fuck people hating in the first place? My own family hating. My own whatever hating. My own twin hating. Like, the hate. But it's internal shit. So you really are sending me. You're fucking with yourself over analyzing inside. What you need to do is start talking. Eight of Wands, start talking. Because if you're talking, then you cannot be wounded. You're only wounded when you don't Eight of Wands, when you're not talking. I told you, it's like having a fucking cavity and you go to the dentist and they ask you why the fuck you ain't say nothing. Why the fuck you ain't say nothing? When you don't talk, you get hurt. 
seems like why I'm asking it's like it's like they want union but you don't know because they're not telling you this it's like they're moving around for union to be in union they're, they're getting things ready to get here but they're not telling you shit by not communicating with you it's like they're gonna get hurt it's like I'm rearranging to be with you and you in a whole nother demo they would have knew if they would have opened up to you or at least spoke to you but since they want to move in silence real G's move in silence like lasagna hey look since they chose to move in silence they chose to get a rude awakening they thought she was moving on one level as they see you moving on a whole different tune a whole different beat and this has got them in a little quagmire. As far as the mask and his mystery man is raw in regards to himself, he's got some awareness about his twin, his divine feminine, and put some more smoke on it. He's got some awareness about you, some much needed awareness about you. And what that awareness is, <laughs> is a self imposed prison he had about you. Hey, about you. This is your masculine getting you fucked up. He's got some new awareness about you. What's the awareness he has with you is that you don't play games. You about your purpose. You about your three of wands. You about your masculine. You're about him. He's aware that you always been about him. He's aware that you always been queen of wands. You always been about him. That's that's clear now. He's aware that you're past him now. Yeah, he's quite aware of that. You're, you're past him. You've ascended, a for ascended far beyond. Far beyond where the fuck he's at. Action-wise. Aside from all that. He's fully aware. <laughs> he's fully aware. Of this self-imposed prison he had of you. This fucked up ideology he had of you. He's fully aware he got you fucked up. Kudos. Now him in regards to his damn self. To a wants. Now he has to survive in the world. Not fulfill his purpose with you in the world. He ain't doing that right now. He can't do that right now. I mean he can with someone else. But with you. Not right now. So since he can't be the two of wands to your three of wands at home, where that four of wands at? At home, because he can't be the two of wands to your three of wands at home, he just has the two of wands on earth. He just has to survive until. His time comes with you but until her time comes with you until she finally gets to the next car, which is her being in her full authentic form or him being in his true authentic form. You know what I mean, put more smoke on this just surviving in the world or now he's or she's forced to survive in the world. Got the Decepticon card. Get to take a real good look at your mask. When you in the world just existing to a wand with no purpose. It's because you had a mask on. You wasn't keeping it 1,000. That's why you're in the world where you're at right now with your feminine. Because you had the mask on masculine. You wasn't keeping it authentic. Or by you being a bad feminine. Because like I say, feminines were like parents and shit. When we have bad kids and they, the kids fought they bad, it's your fault they bad. Be a better parent. You understand what I'm saying? So it's like, look. It's like your masculine... Had this whole mask on. And it's like you took that mask off his ass. And you were kind of mad that you couldn't wear your mask around your twin. You love this mask. But it's like now with your twin gone or with your twin gone or deuces up or whatever. Your twin is just void right now. Now in this void, you're taking one good look at this mask that you used to wear with pride. Looking at it with disgust. He's disgusted at this mask. At 
got this tough love shit, this King of Cups shit he's got going on with you. Like, you know what I mean? Like, he's really. You give me she, she, you know, we rocking. They're really starting to see who they really are. But the only reason why they're starting to see who they really are is because they're starting to understand. Awareness, understand who you really are. Go into the future. Divine Masters go into the future with the Ace of Swords. This is um heading in the right direction. Aside from heading in the right direction, it's like he's following the drip. Six of Cups. This is the sauce card. This is your personality, your chi, your essence, feminine, what makes you you. What your masculine can't get enough of. But also Six of Cups. That's like a nostalgia card. What he misses about you, what she misses about you, what you guys have. The emotions that come with you two. Let me put some more smoke on this so I can really wrap this up on this future tip. Ten of Cups, emotional fulfillment. <laughs> In the last reading, it's like the Divine Masculine had emotional fulfillment being with you, but they spent more time distracting themselves from this that they didn't really learn from this. Now they're faced with this once again, and it's like, why Masson's finally heading in the right direction? He's following your drip. If you saucy feminine, I mean you dripping. If you dripping, I mean it's easier for him to locate you. You can just follow the drip, follow the drip. Feel me? To wherever the fuck you at. Because wherever you at, A for at, that's where emotional fulfillment is. And that's his karma. He's just trying to get to that. But then that's what he subconsciously does. She subconsciously does is try to get aligned with you subconsciously all the time. But what they do is consciously interrupt that. <laughs> they consciously disrupt that subconscious thing they got trying to get to you. Because themselves going to the future, they're going to be them true authentic selves. Why? Because your mind is masculine, don't have a mask on anymore. Going to the future, your masculine is going to be them true, their true authentic selves. You're going to see them for who they really are. That's what you're going to see. Second thing you're going to see is exactly why they are in your life at the present moment. Putting more smoke on this. Feminine. It's like I was telling my homie, man. Your twin is your twin for a reason. Y'all met for a reason. Y'all doing what y'all doing for a reason. And it's what clarifying all that is the full card. Let me get to that in a second. So we got the King of Wands here. Masking going to the future. Got the King of Wands here. This is my masking card. Him Burning on all cylinders. Got the nine of pentacles here. This is your divine masculine appreciating this harvest. You gotta appreciate what you have before you lose it. He doesn't want to lose you. He's appreciating you. That's why he doesn't want to lose you. Plus, he's at the nine of pentacles. He's right where he needs to be to four wands with you, to ten of pentacles with you, to three of pentacles with you, to do whatever he needs to do with you. Okay, because he's in a whole new world like Aladdin right now. I told you he's in a fucking isolated. Physically, he's isolated emotionally. He's in a whole new world like Aladdin. He's in a class by himself. It's like a fucking lab rat. People are really looking at him because of the person that he is. It's just different, special. He's Neo. She's Neo. Like, they're just one of a kind on a whole other level of being, but they don't know their true potential. You got to show them. And you do. But you got to do it in a manner where they learn. They have to learn. They need awareness. Masculine is in a whole new world like Aladdin, mainly because there's no more masks. There's no more secrets. Seven of Swords. This is cats coming out the bag. There's no more secrets. Feminine. If you let cats out the bag, your masculine is going to let cats out the bag. If you on purpose, he on purpose. If you three of wine, then he's going to follow the third of wine. If you two of wine, then he's going to at least two of wine too. If you saucy, he's saucy. If you're emotionally fulfilled by your twin, your twin is going to get emotionally fulfilled by you. If you're distracted by your twin, your twin's going to get distracted by you. You're lying to your twin, your twin's going to lie to you. You got to hold them all outside your twin, your twin got to hold them all outside of you. Monkey see, monkey do. What is the mask I'm going to let you know in the fourth or fifth dimension, fam? Four swords. He's a little in his head about something. What is that? Seven of Wands. He's a little in his head about the inner conflict that he has. I told you. Why is he inner conflicted? Because he's having victories. He's proving people wrong about you. You're proving him wrong about you. He's getting more insight. What's the step after the Seven of Wands? The inner conflict is talking 
about it. The Rasmus is just a little interconflicted because he's been too in his head about something in particular. Obviously, actions. And that he's on his way to the Eight of Wands, which is actually communicating <laughs> what's been on his mind or her mind. And what that is, is the Knight of Pentacles. This is like them being groomed by you or them grooming you. They miss grooming you or they miss being grown by you. It's like my twin. Ain't no other motherfucker like that looks up to him in the manner I look up to him. Like what he says goes to me. Like like I said, if he says something, I'm listening. It's just the respect that I have. It's like a person speaking. You looking, you you know, you you attentive. You're only gonna be attentive on a person you admire or at least respect enough to take orders from or respect enough to look up to. You feel me? Ain't no other motherfucking person Looks up to him the way I do. And vice versa. Because like I said, every time I meet my twin fucking friends or family, they say, yeah, he speaks to you all the time. He speaks very highly of you. I'm like, yeah. I don't hear none of that shit, but that's good to know. I guess. Feel me? He just misses grooming. Like, my twin, I'm pretty sure he misses grooming. Taking me under his wing. Me learning shit. Because I told you he's a square, a spaz, lame and shit. So whatever he's telling somebody else, the shit that he tells me, I'm pretty sure it doesn't mean shit to them. That's probably nothing they look up to. He's probably nothing they look up to. Whatever. Like I say, I'm the only person that looks up to him in this matter. At least the only guy. So I'm pretty sure him being around guys who don't really give him the respect that I give him, I'm pretty sure he's going to feel some type of way. Or get mad that people don't comply with the fuck he's saying like I comply with it or don't respect his opinions and thoughts like I do. I don't kiss his ass because I keep it 100 just like he keeps it 100 with me. But like I said, it's it's hard to find the real in a fake ass world. The world of fake as shit. I'm telling you, it's hard as fuck to keep and maintain real people in your life. Your twin is the realest motherfucker in your corner, whether you the masculine or the feminine. It's always helpful to have real people around you. Because there ain't no cavities around you. Motherfuckers ain't too fake. <laughs> Motherfuckers ain't too fake around you. You know what I'm saying? If you keep keeping shit real. Point blank period. With the divine mass on the 4th and 5th dimensional self, want to tell himself right now. Four of Pentacles. You need to let some shit go, partner. What the fuck that is? <sighs> Seven of Cups. Same shit I've been telling my twins. Crazy. Your masculines, they need to let go. With this whack ass ideology that they have on themselves, like they're not great, or they're not divine, or they're not. Like I say, I praise my twin in a manner he doesn't accept. That's a conversation I really had with my twin, man. He was just like, look, man, get far away from here. Chicago, he was talking about. Fuck far away from here. Fuck far away from me. He's like, you know, you look up to me too much. So I'm like, why shouldn't I? He's like, man, that ain't shit, man. Like, don't, don't look up to me like that. I'm like, but I do. He's like, so, like, out of all the motherfuckers you could be taking direction from, you look up to me. I'm like, you my hero. He can't, he can't conceive that. He doesn't understand what the fuck that is. He doesn't see what I see. What I see is seven of cups, man. I see the person that he has inside. I see the potential he has. I see who he really is. He's holding on to the fact that that person doesn't exist. I'm going to have to crock a shit. I know what I see. You can play me off like I don't know what I see when I know what I see. But it's something he doesn't see or she doesn't see right now. Two of Pentacles. I'm telling you. Because when they look at you, they see it. They see what you see. They know. It's like they can look in your eye and see the admiration you have for them. They can see how big they are to you in your eyes when you look at them. But that's too much. Tells you, when a person ain't never had love before, they can't do shit with love. Until you understand yourself, you can never understand another person. Until you admire yourself, you will never see why people admire you. That's the awareness that your masculine is going to get from the feminine. Thus, that's what's going to really destroy this self-imposed prison that your, your masculine has. This is the karmic... Mystery madness. This is the mystery madness role in regards to the masculine, in regards to himself. 
or herself. This shit is the most crucial thing in a reading right here. It's the awareness from the feminine about themselves that they've been having a self post present to. They don't know how great they really are. But they won't know how great they really are until you tell them. But it ain't just you telling them how great they are. Or really praising them in the manner that they need to be praised. Or loving them in the manner that they need to be loved. It's when you're void. When you're gone. They get to see the difference on your love and this fake ass love that's out here. Between the person that really cares for them and the person that just doing shit on a physical level. They see the change. They see the change. What well, the universe want to let the mask in? No final thought. Two of swords, pussyfooting around. This is this is going back and forth. The universe is saying, fuck going back and forth. King of swords. If you go back again, you're going to get your ass smacked again. The universe is saying masculine. You go back again, you're going to get your ass smacked again. Fuck going back. Go forward to your nine of cups. Your dream come true. It's easy to be like everybody else. It's easy to find a regular ass job and tool one for the rest of your life. That's easy. It's easy for you to settle into a relationship you really don't give two fucks about. That's easy. It's hard finding the love of your life or trying to be with the one. It's hard trying to make dreams come true out here. That shit hard. It's hard to three of wands. It's hard to evolve out here. It's easy to survive. Easy to survive. That's the message that I got. Hope I can be of some good use. It's your boy D. Boom. Stay tuned. Deuces.